Good morning. Good morning. 16th of April, 2020. How is everybody? Well, no one that's in yet, but uh, I'm fine, thanks. Oh, God, this is what's going to happen now to start talking to myself. Um, oh, there's a jingle jangle in the background because Tom is very kindly sorting some jewellery for me. Uh, tank, sorry. Detangling jewellery. I'm on my uh, last last lots, basically. Oh, I have got some more coming in the post. Hopefully that will come soon. Uh, but in terms of, I think that was, in terms of what I don't, uh, I don't know what I'm getting, just like a box of stuff. I've got the last, oh, do you want to show that? When, when? You can show it now. Connie has just finished crocheting a rainbow. It's fabulous and doing pom-poms for the bottom. I'm really impressed, Connie. It's really lovely. Is it going to go in our front window? Yeah, I love it. I've finished the blanket, then I'll put it on the blanket. Well done. But when I do that, it flops, so I'm gonna. Oh, uh, gonna need to add more string. Yeah, or pin it up, or we could think of something, couldn't we? It's lovely. I'll just add string there, and then it will yeah. come like that. Oh, it's fab. Oh, I notice it's melting fluff there. Oh, I'll fluff it off. Well done. Um, right, hello, hello 18 people, right, who's in? Uh, morning Leanne, morning Rachel, morning Mandy, morning Maria, morning Carol. The rainbow's lush, isn't it? I'm really impressed because she used to just crochet long strings and then, so she knew how to crochet. Then yesterday she had her earphones and she was listening to how to do the rainbow. Yeah. It's actually trickier than I thought. <laughs> morning Vicky, that's nice. Morning, woohoo, Shirley Fix. Um, yeah, people like your rainbow con. It was really annoying because the lady, at the start, she said that you need to twist it, but she didn't show it. She had her hand over it and twisted it really quickly. So I got it wrong on that. Drives me crazy when people, Tom, when he eats sometimes, when we're playing shithead, he puts a card down with his hand and then just grabs a pie. I'm like, I don't know what, what yeah. did you play? I don't know what you said. But show us your hand. Um, uh, morning, Cheryl. It's morning, Cheryl. Yep, Mandy says, oh, well, fab. Fab. Oh, wow. Fab. Well done, Connie. Uh, morning, Auntie Margaret. Oh, morning, Auntie... Auntie Margaret. And Margaret says, that's amazing, Connie. Well done. Thank morning, you. Julie. Morning, Nespresso. Oh, God, that's made me think about proper coffee shop coffee again. Whew. Uh, morning, Gemma. Morning, Bad Wolf Susan. Um, great rainbow from Bad Wolf, Connie. Mandy, just wrapping while I watch. How many have you got going out, Mandy? Morning, Andrea. Uh, well done from Andrew as well, Connie. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, morning, Stool. Morning, Gary. Oh, you missed the rainbow. Do you follow me on Insta? Because I'm definitely going to put a picture. Oh, can you just show the rainbow quickly for Julie? Which rainbow? She crocheted the rainbow and put pom pom, made pom poms for the bottom as well. 12 oh, today. Gosh, that's that's low for you, isn't it, Monday? It's eBay, actually. I've been saying the bay is very quiet. In fact, I can tell you. Um, let's see, what day are we now? Thir is it Thursday? Yeah. I think it's Thursday. So, so the last mentally incredible day was Saturday. So the gross on my like eBay chart, the gross, so before postage fees, blah, 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 was, and this is a mental day, £244.97. And that's not even got a Harry Potter bundle in it or anything. Then Sunday it went down to 101. Monday 67. And it goes down and down. 32 on Tuesday. Oh, 48 yesterday. And anything yet? Oh, 9.99 so far today of a uh, silver pendant, which I can't find. Um, so yeah, it's Oh, and yesterday I had to, I sent out another lot of pendants because one of the bundles of pendants that I sent to a lady, uh, she contacted me and said, she's checked the tracking and it said something really odd, like it's Hermes tracking and it said something like damaged beyond all repair or something, like obliterated. It was just like, what? So um, so she said, so I guess I'm not getting those. And I was like, oh, wonder what on earth they've done to it. I wonder if it's been an accident or something. So I thought, well, I'll just try the ridiculous bot on Hermes. I thought, given that it's obliterated to Armageddon, oh whatever it said, surely that something will come up. But no, it just it just says, oh, something like in transit, 
in transit. What else can I help you with? What else can I help you with? For goodness sake. But given how good Hermes are being at the moment, then it's just another thing I'll write off. And she saw another lot of pendants and I've sent her those straight away. But it, that box does still annoy me that you can't get hold of them to say anything. Because also I'd like to know what does obliterated beyond repair mean? Like, can I have can I have my parcel back? Because it's there's loads of pendants in there. So are they literally steamrolled? Um, good morning, Becca. Yeah, everyone's loving the rainbow con. I think Maud's still asleep, actually. Oh, 10.41. Should we be waking her up? Um, I don't want to go with Getting to there bedtime's go. getting it's later and later. Now. Oh, yes. Getting later and later. And, of course, I can't, we can't watch, like, something for us until they've gone to bed. Um, or, like, watch some stuff. We watch the Rich, Meet the Richardsons. We're watching with them at the moment. We can't watch um, Tiger King, really, with them. Or don't want to watch Tiger King with them. Um, yeah, morning, Lainey. Did I say that? Morning, Lex. Morning, Shelly Face McRoonikins. Mm. All like that. Oh, cha ching a ching. What that be? A little um, MS chunky necklace. Oh, good. Maybe things are picking up. Oh, my Auntie Margaret. I'm drinking one of my special coffees. They, She's got a nice machine. Oh, nice oh i could do with the coffee i I've, I've still um got into a really bad sleep habit so going to bed at a normal time waking up about five and then eventually sort of coming down about six or something and then just going to bed in the afternoon just going home off and then like sleeping for a couple of hours and then i just feel completely better after that and it's not i know it's not good and i know i've got to get out but but why you know why should i at the moment Nespresso, sorry, Shelley, number one son is a barista. Oh, barista maestro, still get my daily, <gasps> daily cost of fits. Oh, nice. Um, morning, Bronwell, Bron Bronwell, Bronwyn. Have you changed your name, Bronwyn? Um, or is this another Bronwyn? Oh, stall Hermes do answer tweets, but otherwise are uncontactable. Yeah, I, I don't know how, like, they're being totally good, so, I, you know, I'll let them off at the moment but how do they get away with that Royal Mail just as bad I tried to report a missing parcel or something was it missing damaged I think that was a damaged one totally damaged and um the, the form just would not submit like well it's great isn't it you can say oh yeah you can complain you can try and claim but if you can't submit the form you can't do anything can you I, I find it totally ridiculous I don't know how they get away with it Lex like porn. I think I've missed something. Hi, Mum, five sons. Hi, Cos. Hi, <laughs> Z. Um, morning, Jane. That was just for Z, by the way. Um, bad wolf, love an afternoon nap. Yeah, well, it starts to become like, yeah, I find myself getting really irritable now. I'm not going to, and then I'm like, no. And I said, I, I won't sleep. Just, I'll, just, I'll just lay down and have a bit of a rest. Of course, I did sleep. <laughs> well, hello there, sis. Morning, Karen. Oh, I hope you're... Oh, mind you. Yeah, your package might be turning up soon. Andrea Ellen doesn't go to bed until gone midnight now. Word. Hardly any time to ourselves these days. Yeah, it's... Um, get less and less, don't you? Um, oh. Store, you can't submit royal mail forms until 21 days after the due delivery date. I wonder if that was what it was. <laughs> Lex, you can't watch porn until the kids have gone to bed, in it? Um, same bomb one. <laughs> right, okay. Um, I'm going to show you just some bits I've been pulling out of... Um, the last job lot that I, this morning, the last job lot that I bought, getting right on top of it now. I think I've probably got enough to do about two or three, maybe more reseller job lots before that's the end of it, unless until I get more stock, really. Um, oh, Z, you spelling everyone's names right down there. Uh, oh, yeah, what I wanted to know was uh how are your sales number one oh, I'll, I'll i'll submit these questions one at a time number one 
how are your sales? And while you're coming back to me on that, I will show you some of the bits that I'm, well, some of it's just colors. I just want to show you the colors. This is just a good find. Uh, <laughs> Zs <laughs> for you, Sheely. Um, actually, Tom's uh, faster gun for his great aunt couldn't say Shelley. Is it that Shelley means dog in? Um, oh, I shouldn't be saying this in Swedish. Uh, no. I thought it was meant dog. Something similar. Something dog similar to dog. Anyway, his faster gun could not say Shelley. She would go Sh Sheely, Sheely. <laughs> <laughs> Karen sales are okay but not great but okay okay it's all right from when we've had a fab week of sales oh good Rachel good surge of sales at the moment. maybe because I mean it was men mentally amazing recently so maybe you know it's a bit for me now and it's it will even out uh Kirsten zero sales but making lots of soup okay well if you're happy with that <laughs> Um, Stall sales have definitely slowed in the last couple of days, but I've run out of games and puzzles. Yes, yeah, I haven't been, I've been busy sorting jewellery lots out as well. I haven't really listed much, so I know that doesn't help. But yeah, um, yeah, it's thanks to Kelly that I know about, look at this chunky monkey bracelet. This is a Jackie Brazil, and this was in my um, job lot. Look at that kind of faux amber, faux cherry amber. Too big for me, for my stick wrists, but um Let's see if I can find the, oh, that's it there. You probably won't be able to sit there. No, you won't be able to see that. You'd have to look up Jackie Brazil. There's a, a like a mark her kind of stamp on there. But if you look up Jackie Brazil, nice. I don't know. It's probably about 20 quid's worth that. And you might think I picked one up before for like a quid or something because people just think it's a plastic stretchy bracelet. wrong -o. So happy with that. Yeah, that's thanks to um, Kelly Flipping Fantastic Finds. I know about Jackie Brazil. Um, wow, Lex, 389 yesterday. I don't know what that bit is you put on the end. Um, 289 squids. That's great. Oh, morning, Missy Eye. Caught me this morning. Um, yeah, so that I loved. I was happy finding. Uh, I might have to I think get terrible for keeping the brooches. I found this little um, sauce, is it called a sausage dog, isn't it? Um, just think that's lovely. He's got a little, oh, it's not really focusing, a little sparkly dog collar on, but he's lush, isn't he? I'm just in my job lot. How oh, lovely. I might have to keep him. Um, hey, Pus Lawn, Welsh, we're very happy. Oh, okay. Oh, Haps Lawn. Um, good, fabulous. Um, right, second question. What did I want to know? I want to know what you watched on telly last night. Please tell me. Um, so the other thing is, if anybody, by the way, is after a job lot and they want some uh, like vintage plastic beads, got some really nice ones at the moment, um, just nice colours with... Oh, there are any here? Yeah, that sort of C clasp, but well, these are like the new. Ah, these need a cleany actually. But it's the colours. I just sold a bundle. I might bundle them up actually for eBay. I sold a bundle of ice cream, like pastel ice cream coloured um, necklaces and bangles, and I've had feedback and they're well chuffed with it. So, but look, it's just the colours. Look at that and that shape of that one. Just so lovely. I'm not even a pastel person, but I just love it all together. And then the last colour fix, this gorgeous yellow, and it must be painted glass. It's cold. It's not plastic. What am I doing here? Yeah, those and that, and this is plastic, but look at the colours. Isn't that gorgeous? Just lush. Um... Oh, oh, oh. Still, so I don't have a TV. Wow. Lux watched no telly. Were you reading? And so, what are you reading? Cheryl RuPaul's Drag Race Snatch Game episode. Oh, I've, we don't have watched RuPaul, but I've, I think it's good, isn't it? Well, he's good. Uh, Rachel started watching Tiger King after you kept, kept talking about it. Yeah, sorry about that, but it's. Um, 
it's not even quality telly it's just like it's like that morbid fascination stuff where you keep watching it it's only in america type stuff it's just like oh my god really like it just keeps going on like that um yeah we watched that last night again <clears throat> and meet the richardsons uh with the girls before that karen was still watching my kitchen rules on amazon prime oh Lex fell asleep listening to old Ricky Gervais on XFM. Ah, Kirsten, nothing hubby has taken to watching racing in the US. Jesus H. No, you need to, um, you, uh, you can't be having sport in the evening. It's not, no. Nah. You need some downtime. You can't be having sport in the evening. Um, espresso, uh, royalty soaps on YouTube. Love watching her make. Oh, soap. Oh, and she's so upbeat. Oh, you you have a right old selection of people you watch then, from royalty upbeat soaps to me. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Bad Wolf can't get into anything at the moment. Yeah, it's not. I'm quite happy to watch a bit of because it's just so, like, crap telly, isn't it? Tiger King, I'm happy to watch that. Although after that, I'd probably like another decent drama, but we've got a whole list of stuff that's been recommended to us. Oh my God, Mandy, I've started watching Trump. I'm losing the plot. Andrew, we've been watching quiz on ITV about Charles Ingram, who was accused oh, of cheating. I want to yeah. watch that, yeah. Oh, do you? Tom wants to watch that. Oh, where's your. Um, yeah, talk about the festival this weekend. Where's the lineup going to be, Andrea? So there's. Um, everybody will know this already, but there's an 80s reseller festival this weekend. And I think I'm kicking it off tomorrow morning half 10 i'll try and get on here for half 10 and um usual catch up here but also we'll have a bit of 80s nostalgia chat and there's all sorts going on tom wants to make a couple of the quizzes i think don't you the music one and the general 80s yeah which i think are the evenings oh plus karen's doing a movie quiz i think mm. um 80s movies so um tom's kind of weekend this and then there's people talking about retro gaming and then there's people just on as part of the weekend but it's not necessarily a specific thing for the 80s festival it's some people are too young They're some people young. are too young yeah to be really part of this um <laughs> no no one's excluded <laughs> um yeah so Andrew put it really well yesterday that it's like a festival where you pick and choose which stage you go to uh yeah i think it's gonna be really good and so it's all in aid of British yeah. Red Cross coronavirus uh, support. I thought it was response. Response. Well, they're mind. supporting, aren't they? Response. Um, and I've already put the link in the about me, the fundraising link on my tube, and I will hello. put. Oh, hello. hello. Mum was eight in 1980. Thanks, Maud. Oh, I, I, I bet I, you actually I got that wrong as well. Nine. But. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Seen and not heard, I think. Um, yeah, you would have been eight at the start. Though. Oh, can you, you shush? Nine. Everyone just shush now. <laughs> I was it's a child. Wrong. That's all we need to know. Um, <laughs> God alive. Right, gorgeous colours. Thank you, Rachel. From when we've been watching Future Futurama from beginning to end. Ah, oh, I like Futurama. Do you remember the 70s? Jody Gems Emporium. Morning. Started watching a few days ago. Thanks for keeping the spirits up. Oh, thank you. Welcome, Jody. You're not um what's your Instagram name? I've just started following a gems Instagram and it's really good. Uh it's it, it like whoever's doing it, they kind of show what they list on eBay, uh, Etsy, I think mostly, and but they, they've got a bit of knowledge to share. I'm really enjoying it. Cheryl, type things like Marmite, yes. And Five Sons, no telly. Oh, Laney's watching Hunted. Oh, no, hang on. Hunted. Now I'm getting mixed up with Hunters. I thought you were watching Hunters. Hunted. Is that the one where... They trap people down and, like, people have to go on the run for, like, 25 days. Is it yes, to win the money? Yeah, it's to win the money. It's not the one that we've seen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. In the control room. Yeah, that's quite addictive. Let's as we're child. That's where you got 
Z, I'm glad this Tiger King stuff has passed me by. It's not passed you by yet, Z, it's still on. And can I just say, Z, this is the time to watch Game of Thrones. Oh, actually, here you go. Watch it. Winter's already here. Um, you really you really ought to get into that. Band. That's some addictive viewing. Oh, Andrew, it's on your Facebook page at the moment. Will it be on Insta as well? Morning, Sue. Just got the notification. Morning, Honey Bun. Oh, always have a, a lovely thing to say. Yeah, I will. Oh, post on Instagram today. Okay, yeah, I'll share that as well and YouTube. Um, Karen. Oh, Karen's on at 11 a.m. Saturday morning with the kids, which we all know will be one epic fail. Oh, Carson's doing 80s food. Oh, do you know what we still do? No, actually, that's 70s food, isn't it? The cheese and pineapples. Every time we have a party, everyone loves the cheese and pineapples. Um, Z, question. Have you so, all gotten the managed payment thing? No, also, you are you... The 70s. Um, have you all gotten the managed payment thing? Also, are you switching now, waiting until you have to? I don't think I've got it because I don't... I. What do we have to do? Is this... I think I... I think I gave them my bank account because it's going to be going straight into our bank, isn't it? So I've already done that. I don't know money's gone in there, so I don't know. I think I said I would happily be a guinea pig as well. I don't know why I bothered to do that. Um, Stall 69, I'm having a roll of disco around the kitchen in satin hot pants. But that's just a usual night in for me. <laughs> um, Antoinette working our way through the Sopranos box set. Ooh. That would be a good one as well, Tom. Sopranos. Yeah, try that. Yeah, that'll go on our list then. Um, oh, Andrew says morning, Maud. Morning. Laney, cheese and pickled onion. Oh, you, you, yeah, hedgehog and a trifle is the food I remember from the 80s. I think that's got gone over from the 70s. Um, that's well, just it's a classic, isn't it? Nespresso, I got married in 1981. I was 18. Oh, wow. See, I was married and pregnant in 1980. People can work out your ages if you keep saying these things. <laughs> yes, bad wolf, the voice has given away my age. Uh, Mandy, watch some Americans when they entered the scheme. Be lucky to see your payments wait till it's all ironed out. Mm, I don't, yeah, I don't know if, I've, if I'm going to be part of it or not. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, Oh, Jodie Gems, it's not me. I don't have Etsy, but I'm on Instagram under Jodie Gems Emporium. I'll have a look. And that's my eBay shop as well. There's a theme here. Yeah, most, you can find most of me. Oh, well, it's not all Shell Struini. Some of it is, but I couldn't get Shell Struini on Insta, so I had to be Shell to H. Espresso, Game of Thrones, best show ever. Karen, there you go, something we don't have in common. Shelly never watched a Game of Thrones. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can't, Karen thing is i think we watched the i think we watched one episode and was like mm, not sure watched another episode that was it totally addicted and it's it's one of those things that you, where you get flow where you completely forget about everything else that's going on in the world because it's so good see so game of thrones aka dragon boob from what looks like yeah um somebody at work my old work director said her director trustee said oh, i can't remember what she was um said her husband called it oh what was the not the hobbit the other one what was the lord of the Rings. yeah lord of the rings with tits <laughs> um which is true to start with but it gets for me it gets better um Lainey, I watched 68 episodes of Game of Thrones in 11 days and then had to wait for the last five each. Yeah, that's literally, you end up binging it and then you're like, oh, I've got to wait for my fix. I'm morning, Sam, no notification, that's all right. Uh, where am I? Yeah, Karen leaving it until they iron out the issues. Sue, so I'm 60, past worrying about it. Oh, I've got Amanda, yeah, I know. You know what happens when eBay start pissing about. Well, I saw something appear on my phone. I can't on the front screen on the app, and I can't remember what it was now. A couple of days ago, and then yesterday, I'm like, whatever that thing was, it was an extra thing, and it's not there now. And still, like, um, I think Lexworth similarly, where like you have a draft, 
get that all as you want it and then copy it how many times for listings and then I'd, and then pop your photos in and won't freaking copy at the moment it's driving me crazy um which is obviously to do with the tinkering that they're up to who's got a strobe light lex oh is that going to be going on um oh you've got your dj set haven't you which when is your dj set is it saturday morning or have i just made that up is there going to be a strobe light have we got a video <laughs> stall 69 who epilepsy here i come by a biscuit yeah they're not being able to copy drafts freaking ridiculous um Right, and then I'm going to show you two more. Oh, show you two more bits and a couple of things I've got going out. I don't know what I've done with. I've got like a, um, a necklace I've just sold that's just got, that's just appeared, just sold. I was going to show it to you. Oh, Saturday 9 pm, Lex is on. Morning, Mark. So, yeah, a couple of bits going out, and I'll show you a couple of things which I thought sort of cute as well that came out of the joblets yesterday. My last question. <laughs> Sorry, this is what it's come to. I want to know, what did you have for tea last night? Or dinner, whatever you want to call it. Why? I just, I'm just interested. I'm just, because we're, we're just not going anywhere or doing much. I I need to know what people are up to. I need to know what they're watching. I need to know what they're eating. <laughs> I just do. I just. Like a huh? Oh, sorry. Well, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm stalking you, sixty-two people. <laughs> I haven't asked for their addresses. I just want to know what they're watching on telly and what they're eating. That's all right. I it's actually. It's not like in America where they're like, "Where do you live?" And you go on. Oh yeah, Connie thinks that the Americans always ask where people live. They do. Like I know they mean states, but it's a bit creepy. Yeah. Especially when they end up in Let's the same state. Let's sort out my playlist. Like, oh, I live near you. So I probably made the mistake of having quite a large chunk of Connie's caramel cake too close to dinner last <laughs> night. Um, but we have veggie fajitas. First time now that the girls will actually eat peppers, as we had it with corn pieces, which went down. Definitely do that again. Went went down a treat. I really like that. I got hummus up my nose. Connie got hummus up her nose. We also had hummus with it because, of course, they don't like all the normal dips. But we had all we had the guacamole, sour cream, salsa, cheese. I put just so they got some green in them. I put some spinach in the, you know, the peppers and uh, corn oh, wait, bits. There's still enough spinach for tonight, right? Yeah, there's spinach for tonight. Connie's going to do pasta, so we put spinach in that. Uh, yeah, I ate too much of that. And then literally in the evening, I was like, oh, God, you feel a bit sick now. And you have to just wait for it to pass because you've eaten too much. Right, here we go. What's everyone eating? I don't know if this, honestly, I, I've got an interest in this at the moment. Uh, so sorry, everybody that's tuning in and watching this back now for frick's sake, but maybe you've got an interest in it too at the moment. Kirsten sausages and veg mash for the others. Cool, you're really doing the low carb, aren't you? Um... Lex made a burrito. I was talking about doing burrito since that went down so well with loads of cheese and pepperonis on top with kale on the side. Um, so I would do that with obviously um, meat substitutes. Cheryl had sausage, bacon, egg, chips, beans. Oh, see, I yeah, I love the idea of that. Well, like an all day breakfast. Ooh, oh, see, the girls don't like eggs. Oh, that was right. My friend had also made a quiche. vegetable quiche really nice so she brought we've been sort of sending food down to each other as it's baked like just because it's nice to have something fresh in it when you're actually cooking something fresh so she brought some of that up and we had a little chit chat whilst you know two meters away um that was lush and even more tried it and they don't like eggs my girls and i said there was eggs in that and she was like oh is there but so it'd be great if they start eating eggs we could have fry ups um, Sally Kelly oh, on keto, so steak, spinach, and mushrooms. Oh, I like spinach and mushrooms. All fish fingers and chips. South London reseller. Mandy had a fry. Oh, it's a bit of fry up theme here. What was last night? Wednesday. Fry, is it fry up Wednesday? Rachel B. Turkey mince chili con carne with rice. Oh, bag of scrambled eggs on toast. See, I like uh, just like eggs and beans on toast type meal. This is a thing as well. When I thought about going vegan, I thought I love eggs so much. 
I know a vegan did tell me what they do to the little chicks, but I, God, I really do like eggs. Um, curry for Mark, chicken burger and chips, Maria. It's stunning, not stalking. What's stunning? You don't have to explain that to me. The American one or what my mum's doing. What I'm doing, I think. Becca, we're still working our way through Stargate Series 8. Chicken stir fry for Jane. Julie Cut. Oh, Chili Curry, who did not have a curry last night. She had a spaghetti carbonara on garlic bread. Nice. Karen, for oh, for dinner, I had a mismatch. Oh, yeah, you were using up the bits in the freezer, weren't you? So it was all odds and ends in the freezer. I love that when you get a nice, clear slate. Vegan sausage rolls, hash brown chips, vegetable bacon. So if he has a fish burger. Taco and veg chili. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not do tacos. No, see, it's opened a whole world of possibilities now that they'll actually eat peppers. Cheryl had your tea, Dave. What you had, very royal family. Andrea, we had Moroccan chickpeas and rice with salad. Oh, yum, yum. That's See, that's quite a festival stall food, isn't it? Um, Lainey, Laura made chicken kebab with pizza and salad. God, that's nice as well. They're all actually eating quite well. Margaret had gammon salad with homemade bread. Oh, yeah, Connie's done, did some homemade bread last week. Oh, God, that was good. Um... You've got a bread maker, Margaret. Connie, because she's got a lot of force. She makes really good bread. I made some bread rolls at school once when I was growing up, and then I asked my mum why she wasn't eating them, and she threw one on the floor. It was like a rock, and she said, they're like stones. And they were, but it's like when your kid brings something back from school, you have to make an effort, don't you? She's gone and just threw it on the floor. And I said, yeah, I'm not very good at bread. I, I don't know. It might put me off cooking, to be honest. Um, still, sadly, I'm using food as a sedative. I'm normally keto, but carbs make me pass out and sleep. Oh, maybe I need to. Mm, I did have carbs last night, though. Well, it makes me sleep for not long enough, I think. Double Karma, Mince and Pasta, YouTube videos in Hampshire, UK. Knickerbockers. YouTube videos, laugh out loud, loud Connor. Sorry, Dad just walked out. Oh, Hampshire. <laughs> I was born in Hampshire, Double Karma, uh, at Tidworth Military Hospital. Um, oh, I meant to say things like that on YouTube in case someone wants to steal my identity. How would they do that? You can that? have it. Huh? How would they do that? It's quite a long time ago. Well, they have to try and build up the information, don't they? So people start saying, well, certain questions. Um, Cheryl put a stone on her to order a new wardrobe off eBay. Oh my word, that's a mare, isn't it? I bet the hospital doesn't even exist anymore. That's how long ago. Connie, <laughs> button. Button. Yeah, I was running nice about your rainbow. Yeah, but it's not even a bottle. Oh, yeah, it's a bottle. Yeah, it's a bottle. Oh, yeah, it's a bottle. Store 69, the youngsters say Stan, and apparently it's a cross between being a stalker and a fan. Oh, Stanning. Oh, yeah, I'm a massive Stanner then. I love I, Yeah, it's a cross between a, being a stalker and a fan. What's a fan? A oh, fan, like, like, yeah. I'm a massive stanner then. Like those when you go to a concert, learning something every day, yeah. And they're like, "Thank you for all my." Oh, fans. see you later, Cheryl. You're incredible. Andrew Shelley finds someone locally who keeps chickens and looks after them well. They may sell eggs. Yes, the lady that runs the Emporium and Caversham used to sell eggs. Um, I wonder if she's still got her chickens because I haven't seen her eggs in her shop in recent times. She hasn't mentioned her eggs. I don't know if she's still got the chickens or not. Good point, Andrea. Thank you. Um, Rachel B says, Morning, Maud. Pound got I buy eggs from local farmer. Yes. <laughs> Still 69, Auntie Margaret has every gadget out there. She does. Oh, I actually ordered a jewellery cleaner, which I haven't unpackaged yet. I forgot about that. So that's going to be fun because I can try and clean the jewellery without becoming more black fingered. Um, Karen, I've eaten the most vile stuff before to not offend myself. I'm, I'm losing it. Hurricanes hardly ever happen. Fs. Um, oh, yes, um, Cheryl, the draft's not copying is so annoying. Oh, Margaret's got a bread maker, yeah. You were right, still. <laughs> Brought just before the lockdown. Very good. By God, yeah. Great. If you can get the bread flour. What? What does that do? 
I think you just get the dough to a certain, I don't know, certain stage and you pop it in there and it kneads it for you. I don't know. Oh, maybe you put all the ingredients in and it's, it kneads it. Is that right, Margaret? I'd love certain gadgets, I must say. And it's not even really a gadget. It is a gadget. The dishwasher. So the washing machine's on less. Yeah. Dishwasher's on every day. I love, I love it. Because everything comes out shiny. Um, every single time there's any mention of gadgets. Know what I love? The dishwasher. I love the dishwasher. I love the power shower. And I love our sofa. Although you'd think maybe the sofa's not a gadget. It's got it gadgets. Is got gadgets it's got two recliners it's a corner sofa it's, it's just got our usb big... ports it's, it's got, got usb holders. ports cup holders it's it's so good a to yacht. have a lockdown it's so yacht. yeah a little yacht um cheryl just annoying to get a loaf with a massive hole in it <laughs> still 69 not many people follow my train of thought yeah um I'm quite, this might not be news, but I'm quite slow on the uptake as well. Things need to be explained to me. Oh, Margaret, chuck everything in it and let it get on with it. I think it's good for Connie to have something to occupy her as well, though. So I get to punch it. She likes punching it, which is good for her to try and get that out of her system. It's fun. Karen, true facts, I moved out of home 24 years ago and has never had a dishwasher. I hated living, the house that we had before this, I had no dishwasher. I was trying to pull like the sink out of the bathroom um, downstairs and said, could we just put it there? I, like, just, oh my God, I love the dishwasher. When we moved in here, the house was a state. There was like mold in the hallway, the um, like wallpaper was peeling up. We ended up with a hole between the ceiling and the kitchen where the shower was leaking. It was really a state. Um, but we had a dishwasher and a power shower and I was just happy as Larry. Um, it was fun though decorating it all. It was yeah. fun. You only decorated a bit of your room. That was the second time it'd been no, done. No, I did that. I remember doing the peeling. And oh, that. you did I help peel a bit, yeah. Painting and on that wall there. Maud was a baby when I was peeling the room Dad's in, because I remember she woke up and I was, but I was so like determined. I had the scraper and I was in the middle of it. I just put her on my hip and just carried on. <laughs> All right, let me just show you these two. Oh, yeah, I'll quickly show you these two things that I thought were really cute, and I'll show you the two bits that are going out, and then we will we can wrap it up and we can all get on with our lives. Right, found this this morning. It's a key ring. Look how cute that is. It's a purse or a little <laughs> handbag. You haven't seen this one yet, Maud. Oh, it I is the, it was the one yesterday. No, uh, there's two. There's a theme here. So I found this one this morning. Oh, have you shown them the one from yesterday? Oh, I can't get it open. I'm, now I'm going to show them that in a minute. The metal purse. Oh. Maud was asking me the one yesterday what I would keep in it, and I just said drugs. I couldn't think of anything else. Um, isn't that cute? Do you want to show Maud? Maudie. And then the one we found yesterday, I found yesterday, is like okay. a long okay. necklace one. I know it's probably like just a cheap necklace, but how cute. So it's like a little vintage bag. And it opens, look, that. Yeah, you can only keep something little in it. You can keep little coins in it. Well, oh, something's going a cropper there. Oh, I think I've trapped the chain in it anyway. I think that's so cute. So cute. Rosary purse, rosary purse, mm. don't know. Oh my word, Kirsten, dishwasher broke years ago, never bothered getting it fixed. Ours once, I think two things happened. Once ours stopped walk, work, walking, working, and I, we'd had a guy out who'd, uh, I don't know, a year or so before to do what he could to make it work again. Then it stopped again, and I just walked from the kitchen to the computer and ordered a new one. I just say, like, I'm not having this. Um, and then we also got a water softener, because I'm like, if that's killing the the um, dishwasher, we're getting a water softener. It's really hard water around here. Um, for a steampunk. Yeah, it's just so, oh, so cute. Good drug stash places, exactly. As, and I hear there's a festival this weekend. <laughs> oh yeah, Carol, I'm so into mini things. I'm the same, I either want something giant or mini. There's, why, it's just because it's different, isn't it? 
Oh, Margaret, one pound coin for supermarket trolleys. Yeah. Uh, right, it's so only, so I've got some bits on the doorstep. Can't remember what now. Did manage to sell one of the, got loads of blooming um, broken jewellery for crafters again. Oh, and Christine, if you're watching this back, I don't think you're there, are you, Christine? I've started your sparkly broken jewellery lot. Look at that lot. Um, it'll slow down now because I haven't got any joblets, but check that out for your crafter. Huh? You keep sniffing it. Why it's all broken? No, no, no. This is stuff I pulled out whole and then you discover there's like a gem missing or something. No, but some of them you just... Well, that if I can detect that it's something that's causing an issue, I might it might get snipped. And, and I don't need anything it's attached to. Right, so this is okay. It's a Brooks Brothers tie. Oh, gosh. If you want this all... I've, I've clearly got this name, Brooks Brothers, from Ronnie Hart. Um, this is a Brooks Brothers tie. There you go. But I've had it for ages and, oh, do we know? Don't even know if I know what I paid for it. I'll get a little looky loo at the necklace I've just sold as well. Oh, it's a bit slow. Bear with. Where are you, Ty? Um, it's actually, I paid a few pounds for this and it's, I accepted an offer of £10.50 because there'd been no interest in it. That go in the big post box is a large letter. Ooh. So I really only, most, I, I had a good sale with that Christian Dior tie the other week, but really I'm mostly in, oh, and I've sold some Salvatore Ferragamo ties. It's the only thing I've ever had of theirs is ties. They've gone for good money, but apart from that, I just like the Liberty ties really. Andrew, no room for dishwasher in our kitchen. Would we'll take a cupboard out. I mean, seriously, <laughs> she'll never look back. Especially since um, your blooming chief washer upper. It's not fair, is it? Take some space out of Nick's um, tap cave and have your dishwasher. He's got loads of space in there. He's got more than you have. Get your dishwasher. I don't mind washing up. You wouldn't be saying that it, with the amount of cooking you've been doing recently if you've been hand washing it. I did hand wash a lot of it though. A bowl? No, not more than that. I washed pans, spoons, knives, spoons, forks, bowls. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Margaret never had a dishwasher apart from my lovely Tony. Yeah. And, and he washed it up properly as well, didn't he? I might have job lots, best get sourced in. Yes, I think I've just got, well, I've ordered, um, I've got a load of stuff, which is not like surprise stuff. It's, well, some of it's gonna be a surprise, but it's all Marks and Sparks um, jewelry and it's mostly new with tags. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna list most of that. And what else have I got coming? I've got some chunky necklaces coming. But yeah, in terms of when you get like a massive lot and um, you don't know what the heck's going to be in there. I, well, yeah, I was saying, like, in terms of being able to do them for other people, I've probably got two or three left. <laughs> Still 69. Is that a necklace or a rhinestone thumb? Um, it is a rhinestone thumb, yes. That's very, you obviously have one yourself, and that's how you, uh, yeah, it's very cameo. You know, yeah, rhinestone thong, anybody? Um, come here, there you go, word up, it's very OTs. Uh, yeah, somebody, these, these are the, what I was talking about, uh, are some of the things, I think, how much did I pay for these? I've got them in a joblet, I don't even know, I think they might have been 80 pence each, I've got loads of them, but I've got even more of the ones with hearts on, and I don't know what it is, I don't know if they're beginner's ones, but they don't seem popular with the with the um, cross stitch people at all. Uh, so I literally accept an offer of a five on both of these free shipping. Yeah, if anybody wants to try cross stitch, um, then get in touch. In, 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 I don't mean to say that. As cross between contact and touch, <laughs> get in touch because I can just send you like one to try out. 
Or no, I don't think they check everything, but that was a mistake. I didn't mean to say that. I just. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, okay. Um, right, that was actually 45 minutes. I, I thought it would be a quick one. Uh, right, okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Lex is shocked, um, See you next Well, if there was any more subscribers, I think some might have left yesterday after my warped story, but if there's any left that aren't, can't cope, then that will have seen them off, won't it? <laughs> Am I blushing? I thought, look, I have gone quite red. I have gone quite red. I don't know if I'm just hot or it's because I said that and I didn't mean to. <laughs> um your heart i think you have said i've blushed yeah oh leanne they might be popular Tuesday. after monday kirsty allsop's doing a craft program oh good i like watching her do, even though i don't do crafts myself i like watching her doing a craft <laughs> lex is shocked and appalled i bet you are lex um cheers monday <laughs> uh What's Connie going to make next? Rachel B is asking. Make, well, what do you mean by You are doing a lot of creative things. Make or actually. bake. Make or bake, well, either. Coffee cake. Oh, yes. Um, Coffee cakes next. Oh, but I think I need a break in between cake sessions. Oh. Maybe save it for the weekend. Oh, that's not too far. Okay. Sure, when I watch that yesterday, it's hilarious. I can make an 80s one. Can you just do it at the weekend and give us a day's break from cake? Fine. On the weekend, I can make an 80s one. An 80s cake? And you can post it. Oh, that would be like Battenberg, wouldn't it? I hate that. No, not like an 80s cake, though. Decorate it. Decorate it 80s, or like yeah. a Rubik's Cube or something. Whoa, I could. Um, I'd have to make a square cake. Yeah, and she's trying to get people started on new crafts. She just needs a lot of stuff to keep her occupied, so... Otherwise, I mean, sometimes she's just talking constantly, const literally constantly, and I try, I, I, I like have to sort of meditate to myself and try to like not listen to it because it, otherwise it's, it's like water torture. It's just, it never stops. White noise. Um, How can I add the black? What? Black. Ask me in a minute. Right. Oh. Have you seen the groups making the crochet strap adjusters for NHS masks? No. You could have a look into that, Com. Oh, yes. Upside down pineapple cake for 80s thing. Is that another thing that was 70s and has gone into the 80s? I'm making one at school. Oh, yeah. Upside down cake. Pineapple upside down cake. Oh, you'd have to eat the pineapple, Connie. So she was going to make something that only, oh, cheesecake, that only I would have ended up eating. <laughs> Which I can't, this can't be happening. Oh, right, cool. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Um, can you contest off to make a den in the garden for the boys? <laughs> Have fun. Black Forest Gatto, that is very 80s, isn't it? Bernie Inn, Black Forest Gatto, that's what my mum used to have. She used to have a steak. Oh, no, prawn cocktail steak, Black Forest Gatto. Um, yes, do a thumbs up or thumbs down. Ring the little bell if you want to see more. I'll see you in the morning, half ten. Can I say? Be there or be square for the start of the 80s reseller festival. Can I say? Or um, for Nana Nape. Nape, nap. Enjoy. What do you want to do? Bye bye. Don't die. See you next Tuesday. <gasps> <laughs> she. That's all she meant. She has no idea what she's saying. <laughs>